Hi, Rosa. Hello, Rosa. All right. So, Rosa, Kimberly, Catherine, how are you? How was your day? Hello. I'm ready to start classes. Excellent, Kimberly. That's what I like. Great energy. Yeah. Great energy, Kimberly. Excellent. Uh, thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's late, but I have. I still have. <laughs> Good. And how was your day today? Anything special or anything different? Uh, you're asking to me? Yes. Uh, uh, nothing special, I think. Only the team. The normal, the normal day. Yeah, normal day, so normal. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Uh, Kimberly, what, um, can you remind me, what is it, what is your job? What do you do, Kimberly? I'm anesthetist and respiratory therapist, but I was working in a private hospital, but now I'm changing. So I'm looking for a new, uh, and I'm in the process. So it's it's a little difficult, but I'm trying. Okay, okay. A lot of, uh, you have a lot of activities then? Oh, for now, no. no. Uh, I'm just moving to uh, the capital in San Miguel. So yeah, I think it's a lot, a lot of, uh, I think uh, it's, a, it's a little hard. I had to be in two parts, so, but uh, try. Okay, you have to travel a lot. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes, but uh, uh, we never know. Okay, okay. But you like your job. I really love, love to help people. It's really, uh, I don't know, I can't describe, but yeah. I, I really love, I, I have, uh, I have to um, collaborate. Collaborate? Uh, collaborate to Hospital El Salvador mm -hmm. in the pandemic, three months. So I feel really, uh, uh, como se dice, uh, me sentí muy útil. Useful. Useful, I really feel very useful during the pandemic. And I think I, I deal my, my best. <laughs> I do my best. Okay. Okay. That's important. It's mm -hmm. important that you feel useful in your job and that the, your job, they need you. Is You say, ah, okay, I, I do something with my life. I do, I make a difference. It, I know in a specific in this time with people who need, and I don't know, I, it's, I feel great to, to help people. I really love it. <laughs> That's great. I'm glad to hear that. That's very important. It, I think it makes it easier for you to do your job, uh, to live your life, even when you have a day that are difficult, but you say, ah, but I like my job, but I like it. Even when it's difficult, that's important. Uh, yeah, it, it's a little stressful, really, when you can't handle, but uh, yeah, this is my career, so I have to, <laughs> no choice, <laughs> but okay. I love, I enjoy it. Okay, great. Well, that is the first thing we're going to talk about is things that you enjoy doing, whether it's your job, a hobby, an activity. What do you like doing and why? So the two most important questions, what do you enjoy doing? What, what brings you happiness, joy that you say, ah, yes, I can do this. It is not if it's difficult, but you like to do it. Okay. So with our partners, we're going to make small groups. Remember, what makes you happy and why? Okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. Okay. Let's do it.
Zero, all right. Catherine, great. Hey, Sandra, good you connected. Native, you okay? Okay, great. So 
we are talking about things that make you happy, right? What were some of the things that you your uh, your partner told you? What makes them happy? For you to know that I'm not. My partner Eric, and he love he will love to learn other language. He's he's telling me that he is not his goal, but he will love to do that. Okay. What what language did he say, Kimberly? Uh, Portuguese, Portuguese, and Portuguese. Portuguese and Italian. Okay. All right. Nice. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? What they partner? What did your partner say? Uh, in my case, we're talking with with Hiro. He worked for Ironman. He is a mechanics, and she has a. Uh, around 20 years, 20, I don't remember, <laughs> 20 or, or 10 years, I don't know, <laughs> I don't listen <laughs> fine, but, <laughs> and Sonia, she's a lawyer, uh, but we can uh, talk about, more about that. Okay, so for what, Oscar, what makes Ciro happy? I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. What makes Ciro happy? Is the question means why is he happy? What makes him laugh or smile? Uh, I, I guess that he's happy to to work there. To okay. Work. He, he likes he likes Iron Man. He to work. Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. It's good. Some people they love their job. That's excellent. It's excellent. You like your job. Good. All right. One more. One more partner. Who? Who else? My partner enjoy his job. He is a licenciada in respiratory. Algo así de respiratorio. No me recuerdo el nombre. Algo que tiene que ver con el aire. All right. I like it, Eric. Exacto. I like it. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Kimberly. It's okay. Licenciada en anestesiología y terapia respiratoria. Esa es la carrera. Okay. Did you say anestesiología? Yes. Okay. Anestesiología. From the National University. Yes, it's the only university for who has um, career. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Kimberly is you is because this job is not very is not very common. Is difficult to find work uh, or no? Uh, it's not difficult when you can when you have uh, some uh, colleagues. Uh, they can recommend you or some uh, cirujanos. So you can decide what area you can do, uh, you want to work. So anesthesiologia is okay, but uh, I, I prefer respiratory therapists. It's more my area. So I have six years working on this area and I think it's fine to me. Okay. And it's not only put the mask. So Oh no, <laughs> I have to put in the in the track and uh -huh. connect on a ventilator. I, I know, sí, I know. Eso es lo que I, hago. No, don't worry, I know, I know. But I, uh -huh, but I think for respiratory, ah, okay. the people say, ah, si solo le pone la máscara. Y el, el, ajá, 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 ajá. ¿Qué pasó? Se le quebró el hule. Ay, no, licenciada. Ajá. No, well, this is too easy. Okay. No. It's good. It's good. Imagine it's Kimberly. So imagine Kimberly in the beginning of the pandemic. Mire, usted que es licenciada. Eh, eh, ¿Cómo arreglo esta máscara de la KN? <laughs> no question in the, pan in the pandemia. Nada yeah. pregunta, solo actuar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good. No, <laughs> but good. All right, good. Well, uh, Today, we're going to finish unit three, which is the most important part. And then we're going to make sure that everything is clear. 
So right now, with our partners, we're going to go to 3.13. It's 3.13. And with a partner, is you are going to read, and you have to make the decision, what is the best complement? You read and make the decision. Before we do this activity, I want to tell you that I today I received the answer. I received the answer for the platform. And the answer is only they, they corrected, they had a mistake. So now the correct for the 3.6. You remember we had a problem with number three, but the correct is it's uh, it is on late February or early March. Okay. So okay. this is the answer. It's on late February or early March. This is for number three, because this was the one that we had difficulty with. But don't worry, I'm going to put into the chat. That way you don't make a mistake. Is for 3.6. So in this moment, now we are going to go ahead and go 3.13 with your partner. You look, you read, and select the best complement. Okay, teacher. Okay. All right. Let's take a look. Let me see. All right, Rocio, let's take a look. I'll put you into the group.
Okay. Are we ready? Yeah, teacher. All right, let's try it. Okay, let's see. Sandra, number one. Nady, number two. Before a man and woman get married, they usually date, uh, date each other for about a year. Okay, date each other for about a year. Eric, number three. Mm -hmm. um, number two. Yes. When a couple gets engaged, the man often gives the woman a diamond ring. Okay. Diamond ring. Good. Number three, Eric. Number four, Oscar. Okay. Number three, right after a couple get engaged, they usually begin, begin to, replan, to plan the wedding. Okay. Let's see. Okay, good. Uh, when a woman, number four, when a woman. Uh -huh. And Josue, number five. Mm -hmm. When a woman gets married, her family usually. Uh... Uh, give the the bride and grow a gift or some money. Number number three. Ah, okay, okay, good. All right, Josue number five, Kimberly number six. Number five. Uh, when people are invited to a wedding, they almost always. Give give the bride and groom a gift or some money. Or some money. Okay. Okay. Good. And number six. Number six is right after a couple gets married, they usually go on a short trip called a honeymoon. Okay. All right. Good. Let's take a look here. Excellent. All of those are correct except for number four. Look, when a woman gets married, her family usually gives the bride and groom a gift or some money. Oh, no, no, no. We put give, but the correct answer is pays for the wedding and reception. Reception, yes. Uh, pays for the wedding and reception. And the other ones are okay. Mm -hmm. Were there any vocabulary or words you didn't know? No, everything is okay? Yes. Okay, great. Then we're going to go to our last one. Um, the last one is we're going to improve our reading skills. We're gonna focus on reading and getting specific information. Here is 3.15. Now in 3.15, you and your partner are going to read, but not only read, you have to identify for example, here, paragraph one, line two. So I go in the reading, paragraph one, line two. And here they have the word them, them. Ah, so here with my partner, we have to decide in the context, what is them? Is them people, animals? or protection. So first you're going, we're going to read, okay? We are going to read the five paragraphs. Then with your partners, you're going to make sure that you understand the different pronouns. So who would like to 